I think it's going uh, going great. We're uh, we've advanced so much in the past 50 years, more than the past 2,000 years that uh, we're going anywhere. And uh, for all the naysayers, I think you know we're going to destroy ourselves. Well, you know, war is a constant thing. We've always had it. It's not going away. Probably never will. Morality, I believe there is a higher power that sets it. There is a good and evil, and that everyone knows what is good and evil, but they choose to ignore it most of the time. Uh, well, where am I going to end up when I die? That's probably what I fear most. If what I think about God and heaven and hell is right, or if it's wrong. I could be wrong, there's a very good chance of that. And that's probably what I fear most. No, because uh, I see most of our generation, I look at, they really don't care where they're going. They're just gonna, you know, coast through life, you know, drink, fuck, that's all they're gonna do. So, I really don't see any ambition. Definitely believe there's God. I think there's a hell. And I really I'm not sure about Jesus. I'm not sure if he was what he says he was or if people twisted his words to make it sound like he was something different. You know, he affected the whole world for two thousand years though. So affected our morality. This there was something to him. He was even if he wasn't what he said he was, he was a great man either way. No. The universe is infinite. And uh, uh, you just, there has to be something else out there. You know, and now, whether or not we've had contact with other sentient beings is debatable, but the fact that there is any more is definitely not. Well, anger, because uh, I do most of my greatest things when I'm angry. When I'm not angry, I'm just complacent. I don't do anything. But anger drives me to do great things. No. There's still slavery in the world, contrary to what most people believe. And it's, most of the world's a hell hole. There's really not that many good places. One can make an argument for that, but there's always another way you can solve a problem. It may not be the best solution to it, or, but violence is it's wrong. Yes, um, we haven't really proven much with uh, with what we've shown, what comes from our minds in the past 50 years, there's a few good people who have chosen to expand their minds, but I don't really know if we're going to evolve. By creating, it's uh, the one thing I'm good at, and it's what I like to do. And if there is truly no afterlife, I'll leave something behind. I want to see the world. I'm really not content to stay in this place, although I may end up stuck here. It's always a possibility, but I um, definitely want to see the world. You'd have to ask God that, basically, but my thoughts on it, you know, good always prevails over evil, and evil is a parasite that needs good. 
now if good needs evil, I don't know. If you talk about the concepts of good and evil, there really isn't an evil without a good. Which also makes me think of whether or not did God create evil? Or is evil just a... You have to think hard about that because if God created everything, He created concepts. So He had to create every evil concept there was. Did He do that intentionally or did existence have to be that way? Yes, I do believe it, but I'm also smart enough to know that I could be wrong. I, my own personal views on that are some total of my experiences that made me think that. Other people have had different lives, they have other reasons to believe there isn't life after death. I have many. Uh, is it not being a bit more social. Um, not really uh, believing in people, I guess. Uh, I'm very uh, pessimistic when it comes to other people. And uh, yeah, I regret that. Yes, I would, even if I didn't know the person. Um, I couldn't really live with the fact of knowing I let someone die. Um, I feel I'd go, I'd go to hell for that. So. I do. Um, I feel sorry for the person who would have to do that, but uh, Sometimes you have to make hard choices. The soul is uh, our essence. It's separate from us. Um, it's not really you. You are not your thoughts. Your thoughts are not your soul. Your thoughts are just a product of your some total of experiences. And your soul stays pure stays away from all the things that make us human. To think freely, to have a free will without that, without anything. We have to, we have to be more conscious of ourselves as a race. To be human, you know, we're meant to do great things as a whole, and we can't just worry about ourselves, we have to worry about the race as a whole. We depend on each other. I consider it inhuman to kill, commit acts of violence, but we all do that anyways, and uh, I want to make an argument for that fact that maybe it is human to kill. We do it all the time. We don't like it, but it's in so many of us that maybe it is truly human to kill.